am Seamus Donahue of EVE University, and this is episode 1 of my video tutorial series, How to Survive EVE Online, as refilmed for the Incarna expansion. Before I begin, I want to give a shout out to Paul Suarez Jr., who is the creator of the YouTube video tutorial series, How to Survive Minecraft. It is the series that inspired me to create my own video series for a game that I play, EVE Online. EVE Online is a space-themed, massive multiplayer online game uh, created and maintained by Crowd Control Productions Incorporated in Iceland. It is a rich, deep, and complex game, but it is also a game that has a notoriously steep learning curve, so I've created this video tutorial series to try and help new players uh, get started in the game. When you log into a an account for the first time and you finish watching the introductory movie, you will be presented with the character creation screen, and the first step is to choose the race of your character. In the long term, it really doesn't matter which race of character that you choose, because it just affects your initial skills. But you can always cross-train into anything. It will affect the appearance of your character, and that is basically going to be permanent. So certain choices that you make in the character creation process cannot be changed later on, but that's all appearance-based. So let's first uh, put your mouse over one of the racial icons at the bottom of the screen. Uh, it's worth pointing out that all four races are really just descendants of different descendants of humanity. Uh, for this tutorial, I will be creating a Galente character, and most things will make the most sense if you also play a Galente character while trying to follow the tutorial but the other races should have similar analogs. So go ahead and left-click a racial icon. The only true democracy of New Eden, the Galente Federation is a powerful and prosperous multicultural dominion that welcomes outsiders with open arms. Intolerant of closed societies, the Galente are fierce defenders of personal and social liberties. The next step is to click the next button, makes sense doesn't it, down in the lower right corner of the screen. So just left click that button. And the indicators in the upper left show you which step of the character creation process that you're on. You can always use these indicators to back up to a previous step. I'm going to choose the main Galente bloodline and a male character. Again, the race, bloodline, and gender of your character are irrelevant in long term and only affect your appearance. Click the next button to continue. And on the third screen of character creation, you are presented with your avatar, which you can start molding uh, as you like. In the upper left corner, you have a circular arrow button for randomizing everything, if you just want the game to pick random appearance options for you. Uh, you can zoom out or zoom in. All right. You can also left click and drag to look at your character from different angles. You might be curious about the gray circles on the back of your character. In the game lore, you are playing what is called a capsuleer. You're essentially a starship captain who is immersed in pod goo inside a capsule, and you are wired, you are plugged into the starship computer whenever you're actually flying a starship. So anyway, uh, there are options you can play with in the upper right, uh, upper right corner. These are each headers, and you can left-click a header to expand or collapse that header when you're playing around with the options. The f your first starting point could be, for example, adjusting the muscularity of your character or the weight of your character. I'm going to go with low muscularity and middle weight. Right. I'm going to zoom in. Oh, let's see. I want to make my eyes a slightly darker brown. Uh, hair, I want to pick a hair color. I don't want to be bald. Oh, with these options here, if you just left click on an option, you can go through them like that, or you can left click and drag to scroll through quickly. I will pick this 
as my hairstyle. Let's see, skin details. Eh, I'm not worried about the eye details. Cheek color, lip tone. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, let's zoom out and look at the clothing options. Uh, let's see, for a shirt. some pants on, some boots, a mid-layer, an outer jacket, and there is my character. And you can also mold different parts of the body. Uh, I kind of skipped this, but um, you can mold different parts of the body by clicking and dragging. Uh, the highlighted grid will indicate which part uh, is going to wind up being molded. Let me get the clothes back on. You can also mold different parts of the face. And you might also cause some strange proportions. But anyway, uh, feel free to play around with this. Uh, remember that you cannot change any uh, these options about your character once you finish the character creation process. Uh, you also have body modifications available if you left click here and you can look at piercings, uh, which I'm not going to play with, but you could certainly play with these if you wish. You've got the eyebrows, nose, high ears, low ears, lips, and chin. You can also have various scars or tattoos. I'm not going to bother with these now. Uh, this is good enough. When you're done with this, click the next button. And just to emphasize this, everything up to this point, once you finish creating your character, is immutable. This fourth screen involves creating your character portrait. And you can change the lighting on your character. You can also change the intensity of that lighting. And you can also mold the lips just a little bit. Let's go with a smile. You can also change the pose. You can also go th with one of the pre-selected poses here. You can also change the background. And where is the Galente background? I think it's number 20 something. Here we go. When you're happy with your portrait, just click one of the camera icons here. Uh, Different portraits are presented to other players uh, in different contexts. It suffices to just have one portrait, though if you wanted to have different portraits for different kinds of windows, you could certainly do that. Uh, I'm not going to uh, bother with the other portraits, not that I remember which other contexts these other portraits show up in, but uh, this will suffice. When you're happy with your character, click Next. And finally, we choose a name. I am now in your name, your, the first field, you can have a first and a middle name. So two words separated by space, and your last name goes here in the second field. So if I put in tutorial maker, and in the second field, Dunahoo, that will eventually show up in game as three words tutorial maker Dunahoo as my name. And let me check the availability. The name is available. The name had better be available. I deleted the character from the last time that I filmed this. The last two options you can choose is your ancestry and your education. Now, in versions past, this actually used to affect uh, the different skills that you started off with, the diff different attributes that you had. 
uh, but these options are no longer relevant. Uh, your education will affect which solar system that you start off in. I'm going to pick Center for Advanced Studies, which means that my character will be created in the Sistuvere solar system. If you're playing EVE Online because a friend who's been playing the game longer has invited you to the game, you may want to tell your friend which race of character you're creating and which education. That way your friend can figure out which solar system you're going to be starting off in and will meet you there. So Immigrants, Center for Advanced Studies, Tutorial Maker, Dunahoo, and to finish off the character creation process, I would click the Finalize button. When you click the Finalize button, you will actually be taken into the game. Since this is your first character, the game is going to assume you want to log in this character. Uh, I'm going to stop this episode here, well, in a few moments anyway, and we will actually get started in-game in the next episode. Uh, in the meantime...